All right, let's get started here. I kind of had a deal. I started and I got things going, started showing me putting on the glues and stuff, and for some reason, my uh, audio wasn't working. And so I messed with it a little bit on my test run, and then I came back, I did this, and it didn't start recording. So I've already started applying my glue across here. And this is just the Mod Podge glue. And I want to completely cover this whole area up on top where the manifold sits. The reason I want to do that is because I don't want any thickness of any layers of paint or clear coat that might be sprayed on the motor keeping the uh, manifold raised up. Because I want this to sit flush right on the plastics, on the styrene, so that way it'll all melt together. <coughs> so I've got the top there. I've gone, I put a thick coat across here and across there where your valve covers go on. And I started to put it on here and that's when I realized that there was an issue. Now I just turn around, put a thick coat on, wherever I want the glue to mold, another thing too about this hodgepodge glue, when you're doing your painting and stuff, if you've got small detail parts and things, that you want to seal and you want it, you know, you could do it glossy or you want a light gloss to it or it to be flat, a matte color. Well, not really a color, a clear. I just take my Q tip and wipe around the edges. And you can see where I put a couple of dots there. And over here, that's where my headers are going to end up sitting so that way when I go and I put this together my plastic parts are going to be against plastic parts so I'm going to spray my color over this and once I get all that done after it dries I can grab this here and just peel it right off of which leaves a nice clean area for my uh, cement my uh, model glue to sit styrene to styrene so that it mount, gets a good solid hold on it. As this sits inside there, I, like I said, I don't want it to set up because of the uh, layers of paint and clear coat and stuff. Um, when it comes to sealing stuff, I've used this quite a bit and I love it. This Mod Podge in the yellow, it's a matte. So whatever you put it over, when it dries, it dries clear, but this is going to keep it flat. And it will seal it, you won't see it or anything. So on small parts and things like inside your dashboards and stuff, they also have a pink bottle, <coughs> oh, excuse me, that's a gloss. Now it's not a high gloss or anything, but it's a gloss finish, so if you're putting on your parts and things on your motor, and you want something to be glossy and sealed and stuff really good. This here is a lot cheaper than going through a lot of different clear coats and varnishes and things like that. And so I tend to like to use this glue here because it dries really quick. And when it seals and everything, it's just really cool little effects that you get out of it. So that said, when I get ready to do the oil panel on the bottom, I'm going to want to make sure that I have no chrome at all. So I'm just going to use my sanding stick here. Because I want this to be plastic to plastic. And this in here is not going to be painted. So I'll go ahead and just sand that down a little bit. And you can see where has a little bit of a lip on it, but the top portion of that is blue, so that lets me know I'm back down to the plastic. 
So when I go in there and I glue this onto that, I know I'm going to get a good solid bond. So this is one way to do it. You could tape it up and then um, cut it and everything. But with this glue, it just makes it so that the paint doesn't go and bleed underneath it. Or as you're peeling it up, it sticks to other paint and peels it off the sides and stuff. This comes off really, really easy. It just slides. slides. My seat across chair is going to be mounting up against this right here. So this is also another good place. I'm going to be using a cinnamon on this for my carpet. And so I'll be using this Mod Podge. I'll just be spraying that in here with the water mix and then put the cinnamon in there. So across there, I'm going to want to tape that off. <coughs> using some tape and you know you guys already know how to do that so if you just put it right there so that way when i get the glue and everything in there i can peel the tape off without it taking up the glue and the carpeting but it leaves me with a good solid area for my seat to mount to that to get a good solid hold kind of be more of uh when i get ready to paint kind of scenario so but that's the way I do my gluing for small detail parts and things like that. You know, I don't want to have any glue sitting on my, uh, where I mount my wheels. Or any paint, I mean. Because then you got to sand it down, which makes them not round anymore. It squares them. So, just a little bit of this glue... Now, after I get this here painted, and everything's done and it's all ready to put the wheels on, I can just pop that off, stick the wheels on it, and I've got a good solid area for it to, to bond to. So that's pretty much about it for using the uh, white glue for masking and stuff for this segment. I'll let these here dry, and then after I get done painting... And stuff and I go to do more work on it I'll come back and show you how it all peels off and goes together after that so I will get back with you just as soon as I get some painting done thanks guys bye hello there YouTube model building community Chris Chapman coming at you from the resting nuts model shop we're gonna sorry my bird decided to get into a talking mode <laughs> Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up the uh, tutorial on the Elmer's glue or HodgePodge glue. And I've got everything, all the parts are painted and stuff, all ready to go on. And I'm not going to do the entire motor. I'm going to go ahead, show you the uh, process and everything, just to put a couple pieces on. You guys will get the hint. And then after I get the entire motor done, I'll put together a couple pictures or something and throw on here at the end so you guys have seen me do the Elmer's glue and stuff I've had a couple people posting asking why did I use this hodgepodge glue and blah 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 and stuff and this is why I'm gonna go ahead and start here with the motor which has the majority of the glue put on it I've got Sunny thank you <laughs> okay we got the motor we got the glue and stuff you guys saw how I placed it now the reason I do this is again is for masking I could turn around now and take my blade here I find a place where I can get in there there we go I'll just go right on in there. Better grab some tweezers. Oh. Okay, Sonny. So, I can now take 
this glue. Use my fingernails. I think I let this one set up too long. I'll pop it off. Always go away from you. There we go. Get right up along here. This stuff set up. It's been sitting on here for a oh, good two weeks. But I got it all cleared up there. Usually if you do this in a day or two, it comes off a lot easier. It'll pop right off. There we go. Okay, remember I was telling you, I have it in various areas. Look at that. That one came right off. Where I want my glue to mount. See how that came right off? Got the top done. And this stuff here, I'm actually going to be scraping off. I didn't put glue on the upper side of the heads. I'll come down here. Catch this area here. See, and I just hand brushed this. instead of spraying it. One sec. Sorry about that. Some people just got home and are going in to do some laundry. And the last thing I want to do is have the laundry overtake this. Okay, so now I got the valve covers where the heads are. A nice clean spot for the valve covers to get into. I also have this area down here. There we go, look at the way that just peeled right off. So now I got a nice clean spot for my oil pan. This is all cleared off. Where else did I put glue at? Oh yeah. One right there. One right there. There. And there. Now you can see the blue dots right there for my headers. They're in there. And this is all cleared off. 
cleaned up and ready for the uh, parts to go on here. Usually I go put on one, two parts and then let it sit, but we'll throw a couple pieces on here. So we will start off by taking some glue here. I use the uh, CA glue medium strength. Put a little there. And a little down here. Gotta hold on to it here for just a second so it kinda get a bond going. You know, just to make sure I got it, I like to come back in with my Tamiya extra thin. Hit a area there let the uh, capillary pull down aside there hit it across the back And that there is now dry, holding and getting dry. Where did I put my valve covers? Hmm. I left them over here. Let me go ahead and snip these off. Come on. Usually have my visor on so I can see this better. We're doing good though. Put my visors on momentarily so I can make sure that I get it on right. Now, where I snip them, kind of clean it up a little bit here, real quick. Easier to do this now than it is later. Now you can see how I've already sanded the bottom of the chrome plating off. I'll take my Sharpie where there's a little bit of blue where the chrome didn't go down because of the sprue. This one over here done real quick. Should have had this already done. Sorry about that. Okay. 
Okay. Now, yeah, so I can see what side this goes on, we'll use my visors here so I can see. <laughs> Now I'm going to put a dab of glue right across, you know how to do it. A little bit of the hodgepodge glue on there I didn't notice before. And this one here will go on this side. So I will now hold on to that for just a few seconds. There's a dog hair on it. How does that happen, Cherry? Huh? Yeah, don't even lift your head up when you get asked a question like that, do you? <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead. Get the glue on right here. Get this valve cover on with no dog hair. Imagine that. See, in the way that I lined all this stuff up earlier, it allows everything to go on there nice and straight, tight, and smooth. I've got a different kind of glue here and it's taken a little bit longer to grab. I like to let go of it as soon as I can. So there we go so far. Got the intake on, the valves, you got your paint on the yellow on it. So is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I forgot I got glue right there. There we go. Not anymore. So now I've got a nice clean spot here, nice clean spot here, nice clean spot here and here. Let me get the rest of that off. And I also got some in here where my starter goes. I've got to scrape that out. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this video for now. Go ahead and get the uh, rest of this motor put together. And then I will come back and show you the end results of it. Hopefully you can. This is helping you, and I'll be back soon. Talk to you in a sec. Bye.